Hi guys, in this question, I'm basically going to show you how to find the bus admittance matrix for these three bus power systems. Uh, and it's a very simple question. It's really easy. You can do it quickly. So let's get to it. So we see, so we're given this. Uh, so we have a diagram that represents three buses. And the first thing we want to do, uh, so essentially, we're going to basically build a matrix out of this diagram. And it's very simple. Right, let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do, we want to find YA, YB, and YC. So to find YA, we use the formula 1 over Z. But here's the thing. There's a J. So this is a complex number. Therefore, we can't just do 1 over Z. We have to times 1 over Z by the conjugate, which is this. So the conjugate is always the minus of z, uh, over the minus of z. Uh, so in this question, we would do 1 over 6 times minus 0.6j, sorry, 0.6 over minus 0.6j. And notice that uh, we have um, two minuses. The thing is, you need to remember that when you have uh, j squared, it also equals minus 1. J, so j squared equals minus 1. So we're also going to have another minus 1 over here. So ultimately, that's going to give us yA equals um, So that's it. So we have yA. To find yB, we do the exact same thing. So, so 1 over z times the conjugate, which would be 1 over uh, 0.2. Oh yeah, j minus point two j, uh, which would simply be y b equals, and likewise for y c we would do the same thing. So one over z times the conjugate. Uh, I'll do it short, which will basically give us um, minus four j, which equals y c. So now that we have y a, y b, y c, we can find the first plots of the matrix and that's y11, y1, y22 and y33 and these are the diagonal uh, plots. So if we have a matrix here, we have three rows and we can get the diagonal um, values. So y11, y22, y33 and we can get that first. That's very easy. Now remember, to get the diagonal values of a matrix using this method, you have to add the yA plus yB or yA plus yC. Uh, either way, it's adding. But if we were to find the off-diagonal elements in the matrix, we have to subtract. Uh, I shall show you this later. Let's begin. So to find y11, we uh, can see in our diagram, we have to traverse across the one bus. So the way to do that, we'd go through ZA plus ZB. But notice how at this stage, we're not using the Z values at this stage, okay? We're just using the Y values. So essentially, all it is is YA plus YB. So YA plus YB, which is minus 1.67J uh, plus minus 5J, which would give us minus 6.67J. So that's Y11. Y22, similar thing. So we can see the two bus. To get across, to reverse across the two bus, we have to go through ZA uh, and ZC. So ZA to ZC. So all it is is YA plus YC. YA plus YC. So um, we're going to do minus 1.67 uh, plus minus 4J. So that would give us um, minus 5 point six seven j y three three similar thing we would do we would go across the we traverse across the three bus so y c plus y b uh so yes y c plus y b which uh which is minus five four j so therefore so we have our diagonal values now what we want to do we want to find the off diagonal values so that would be y one two y one three y two three and y two one y31 and y32. This is also very simple. Notice how I said when you are calculating the diagonal values, we're adding. But when we are calculating the off-diagonal values, we're subtracting. So 
let's start with Y one two. Y one two. Y one three. Y one four. Y. Uh, okay. So to get Y one two, we are essentially traveling from the one bus to the two bus. And the only way to do that is through ZA. So all it is is minus, it's, it's, y, it's YA, but notice how I said it's minus because it's off diagonal, so just minus YA. So that would be minus minus 1.67J equals 1.67J. Similarly, um, with Y13, we're going from, we're just traveling across the ZC, ZB to get to 3, from 1 to 3. So all it is is minus uh, YB. Which uh, is minus minus five j equals five j, and y one four. Uh, sorry, there's no y one four. Y two y two three. That's what that's what it should be. So y two three. We're basically going from this bus to this bus, and the only way to do that is to go through z c. So hence y c, and because it's off diagonal, as I said, minus y. So minus y c, which is minus minus 4j which equals 4j that's it so to y for y21 y31 and y32 um, very similar thing so y21 we're going from the two bus to the one bus uh, and the only the only way to do that is to go through za so it's minus uh, za hence minus ya notice at this point we're not using any z values So actually, we find it's actually just to do it short. We get it's it's essentially the same values as what we got in these off-diagonal elements. It's almost like a mirror. So now we can build our matrix with all the values. So uh, this is we are using all these values. Uh, to build our matrix for the bus admittances and we can just plug them in oh crap okay maybe that was a bit too big yeah that was definitely too big So essentially, okay, uh, not in such a ridiculous size, but that's our answer. That is the matrix for the bus admittances. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Uh, please subscribe. Stay tuned, hopefully, for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.